So this is the final step in this flow, and we're going to be talking about this section, which is about creating a new person account and being able to make the updates uh, to be able to make that kind of visible within the relationship model within the financial services class. So uh, the first step here was about uh, we were doing an update on the account record, uh, and this is kind of the household account. And then what we did was to do a loop uh, updating the contacts uh, that were existing within the, these are the person, person accounts, the contacts within the household that already had defined relationships. And so if we, if we work through it, uh, what we're doing here is it all kind of dumps back in here, which is uh, add a new household member. Uh, and that's a pretty straightforward uh, message or uh, you know screen because we're just saying you know if the conditions uh, are there do it and and you'll see the checkbox that we'll get and this is from this screen up here uh, gave us the indicators of whether or not we we're doing these two we'll see that uh, and then if it's not then we're just going to end the flow if we're not adding new members uh, first step here was to go out and this is ended up not using this but I, I think it's still helpful and worth understanding um, what we're doing was was getting the household, um, uh, the record owner. Um, and so the way we did that was to say from the record owner, let's grab the, uh, this is the user object, right? So we're going out to the user object with the owner ID and we're bringing back the uh, the name just so we have that as, as we can kind of work with it. And let me see, I can now, I can pull this a bit across because we're now into this part of the flow and we can work with the elements. Okay, so uh, we have at this point uh, gone, done that. So this screen is the important screen because uh, this is really the gathering of the information. So we're just going to basically say we're, you know, pulling information and kind of verifying that this is, you know, you're looking to add a member in this household. Um, but first name and last name are relatively straightforward. That's just basic text. Uh, this one's interesting. This is a checkbox group, but it's for a, uh, um, a pickless choice set. So let me show you just how that's going to look. And I guess we have to scroll. Well, I guess we don't really have to scroll too much. Uh, if I pull this back across, you can see it. And what we're going to do is go down here. And this is a, a pickless choice set. And we're going to be pull, pulling in the roles pick list choice set. Uh, so let's cancel this and let's go over here and take a look at roles from a, uh, the manager side and see what we get. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to type role and it's going to show me the pick list choice set here. And that pick list choice set, <laughs> kind of bouncing this back and forth. I know what I can do. I can probably squeeze this down a little. Let me do that. Yeah, that'll help. Uh, if we look at the pick list choice set, we are looking at for the account contact relationship. Now, this is the junction object. So what we're doing is defining the relationship between the, uh, the contact and uh, the household, right? The, and so this is what we're... Uh, that's basically what we're doing. We're pulling that in and using the roles field there. And uh, okay, we were in this gather screen. Let me see if there's anything else here we need to look at. Uh, we were doing oh, just social security number is a required field. Uh, date of birth is just uh, again date. Uh, and you can see how that's date. Uh, that was text. And then we have an email. Um, uh, component here, screen component, that pulls in the email. And we're not making that one required, uh, but you'll see it's, it's pretty important for what we're doing. So I'm going to click cancel here because we didn't change anything. Uh, and then what we're doing is moving to the create. Uh, and just so you see what that one's about, uh, we're creating one record and you can read it here. And it's an account. And it's, uh, you can see here, basically what we're doing is creating kind of this information with first name and last name on the account. And then we're also going to be storing the record ID. So we have that. And then 
We found though that email wasn't part of that person account. So you actually had to go out and get the, uh, the contact side of the person account. Uh, so to do that, what we do is a get then using that record we just pulled of account. And because the ID is the person account record, we know it's going to come in. So that's the person contact ID. And we're able to then go get it. Uh, and we're able to update that record. So we're going to do that, go, go out and get that record. And we're going to update it with the email address. And we're also going to put in the household just so we have that information also there. And then uh, the next step was once we have that kind of record built is how best to create the, uh, this is that junction object, which is an account contact relationship. And you can see here, we're going to do it using, here's the information that we're using, uh, using the account contact relationship object. And we're going to, we're going to build an account ID, a contact ID, uh, we've got the financial services roll-ups, and there's a series of those, and you can see a kind of which roll-ups people would go to uh, is active, and uh, then the roles is the one we pulled in um, from the, the pick list choice set. And so I'm going to cancel that, and we're going to put up a success, success screen that just says, yeah, that's what's going on. Also put in there a checkbox that says, do you want to create additional records at that point? which allows us to do an evaluation to say, uh, does that checkbox have a value? Otherwise, what we're going to be doing is going out and ending the flow. If it doesn't, we're going to roll back in and, and run that again and create additional records. Just to show that it works, let's go on ahead. Now we're at that click. Uh, we're going to add additional household members. We're going to say yes. And what we're going to do is to add, let's add Dana Tester to this. And we're going to add tester here, and we're going to make a dependent, and a social security number is required, and the date of birth. Uh, so let's just say it was quick here. And uh, since we've worked hard for this, let's just do test at test.com just so we see it. And we're going to say next here. And it's going to say, do you want to create another one? We're going to say, no, we're finished. Uh, and what we can do is to see here uh, that we actually did get a successful completion record. Uh, and so we can say, fine, let's just click next. Uh, and we're going to then say it was completed. And we're going to say finish. And we can run it again if we care to. But this was done in the debugger, obviously. Um, so if we go out now to the Alice account and we do a refresh there and we flip around to go and see the relationships and we click on relationships and we scroll down, we actually have a Dan and a Dana who's a tester and going in on Dana's, uh, we see that she's part of the household and uh, the other key was an email address, test test.com. So it all works. Thanks for watching.